I'm excited because I just signed up for kickboxing. I loved doing mixed martial arts. When I saw this ad, you know, on Instagram, when you're scrolling, they will pop that ad right on up. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna sign up. So this Sunday, I'm gonna go and check out a class. 99.9999999% I'm not going to be recording that I, myself in this class, I'm not doing that. I'll let y'all know how it was. And hopefully if the price is right, I will be back kickboxing. <laughs> yes, totally excited about that. That will really ramp up my workouts. Like that will accelerate my progress like by light years. I'm hopeful that is in my budget. This is our third vlog. We're kind of like, we're kind of pushing them out there. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about it. Hopefully by the time you see this, I will have been in kickboxing classes and will have great report. At the end of last vlog, super disappointed with gaining three pounds. So that means in total, I've lost three pounds thus far. I don't like that, but like by the time you're watching this, that's not gonna be my reality. I will have lost a lot more pounds than that. Well, more pounds than that, just at three. So I'm not gonna stress it, but this is the process and I am sharing it. So I'm not going to hide what's happening. So I'm on my way to the gym in a little bit. I'm going to start, I want to say my pre-workout. I've been working and editing all day so far. It is almost two. I ate for lunch. I had some zucchini and a piece of fish and I'm about to have my sweet potato, my Japanese yam and um my pre-workout and then i'm going to head to the gym in a little bit and then i have to get back by a certain time so that's what all is going on today today is i'm doing legs i'm doing legs so i need to get moving because it takes me a while to get that done and i want to be back by a certain time and i do want to stop at the supermarket to buy me stuff for breakfast because i ran out of egg white and can't run out of that okay i need to get some more veggies some egg weight and maybe I'll find something else that's good for breakfast, like a protein. I might get a box of Kodiak pancakes, Kodiak pancake mix, because that for sure I do like having and I haven't had it in a long while. Don't want to have it all the time, but I do like having some weeks I will have that and then some weeks I will have something else. And then also I want to buy some oatmeal because having oatmeal and a protein at the same time have helps with digestion. Um, this is something I learned when I was training when I was um, cutting weight um, back when I was doing MMA in 2012, 13. Our senseis, this is how they taught us to eat properly. And this is what they did themselves in order to stay healthy and all of that stuff. So that is what I'm gonna do. Hope y'all enjoyed the rest of this vlog, y'all. What is going on, y'all? Um, Listen, okay? I'm not gonna talk about it. Anyway, I decided to make a meal what i'm doing here is i'm gonna stuff some mini sweet peppers because i cut them in half took out the middle cut them in half already and and then i have just one big one that it needed to be handled or else it was gonna go bad and i'm stuffing it with some red quinoa and i have just ground turkey seasoned up all right right now uh some ground turkey seasoned up with some red onion and all of the good stuff little tomato sauce seasonings all of that and what i'm gonna do is when the red quinoa is done that's taking a million years i'm gonna put it all in a bowl mix it up and that will be the filling for bell peppers the bell peppers right now are sitting in some really warm water so that they won't be so hard and that's working pretty well it's working and that way when i put it in the oven they'll bake they'll still have a little you know bite to them but they won't feel like i'm just eating raw bell pepper which to me tastes good but you know that's not what i'm going for right now day is just a regular day let me tell you what happened this morning i was supposed to wake up at 5 a.m and then go to a 
early morning kickboxing class, right? But what happened was I didn't do that. Last night, I, I laid down to go to sleep pretty early, fairly early. And when I tell you, I tossed and turned all night. Finally, at like three something in the morning, I finally fell asleep. Only to wake up to a coughing spell at four in the morning because they be having the heat on in this building on dragon mode. And I know it's cold outside, but like if I gotta crack the window in the dead of winter, you might need to turn it down a little bit. I might be a little hot, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I know there's nothing they can do about that. They have to keep the building warm. I'm, I'm grateful for heat. I'm grateful that they are doing that because there are other people who are suffering the opposite. I'd rather have to crack a window open than to be so cold. You know what I'm saying? So I'm grateful. But I was hot and when it's hot at night, I can't breathe. So I woke up coughing and I, it was like 4.30 and I fell back to sleep and that alarm went off at five. I was like, it's a no. I sat up and I lay right back down. I could not do it. So, all that to say, I'm gonna try my best for tomorrow. No, no, that's a lot. What I did was set myself up for, for success and I canceled <laughs> early morning class that I scheduled for tomorrow and put it at, at a later time um, in the morning. That way, if things go bad during sleep, there's still no way I'm, I'm gonna miss that because I never stay in bed that late. So that is the plan. So today I'm gonna go to the gym. This afternoon, I'm gonna go to the gym. It is Tuesday, January 25th. And so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do cardio and, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do a lot of cardio. I'm gonna do the bike for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna do probably full body workout. Just something to be able to lift some weights and and do all of that because y'all, that kickboxing class, oh, my quinoa crackling. I gotta make sure I don't, let that burn. That kickboxing class, y'all. I didn't know I was gonna. I thought I was gonna make it or not, y'all. Whoever y'all are who cook quinoa, bro, this takes forever. All right, so quinoa's just gonna be on its last steam, and then it's gonna have to be what it's gonna be because I'm not waiting forever for that. I got work to do today. So anyway, yes, we're going to the gym, and we will be doing light cardio and full body workout. Oh, I was saying in that kickboxing class, it was no joke. Basically what we did was, dang, what is it called? I don't know why it escapes me, but it happens to me often. We did like calisthenics basically. I think that's what it is. Y'all, I'm sorry. For half the class, we did that. Or maybe it's hit. Yeah, we did hit workout for half the class. And then the other half of the class was hitting the bag, which, that was, I loved it. But it was intense because hit is not my strength. <laughs> Gosh, it is not my strength. They said burpees. Scoundrels, you low down dirty scoundrels, you burpees. <laughs> we was working out, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I will be back at it tomorrow morning, not as early. I'm not going to videotape it because there's other people in the class. Like I don't, and I just started like, let me get in, let me get in and get to know people and stuff like that because you know, I don't want to overstep boundaries. So I'm not going to be doing, I'm not going to videotape while I'm in there, but I will, you know, as I get to know people, I will, I will ask and stuff like that. So that, that might be coming up, hopefully. I did ask them if they let people volunteer because as I said in previous vlogs, I will be going back for my bachelor's and you have to intern somewhere in order to get into physical therapy school, doctor physical therapy programs. You have to have interned somewhere under a physical therapist. And it's my understanding that there are physical therapists there. I asked if they let people volunteer. I'll talk to the manager and find out and see what all they got going on because that would be super awesome. It seems like it's a franchise, so you never know what happens in the future when you are making connections and building um, a rapport with people, doing the thing that you love. Because in the future, 
I have so many plans about things that I want to have as an asset to not only me, but to my community or commun communities around the nation. So you never know, I might have a, a kickboxing studio, a mi mixed martial arts studio one day soon myself or in the near future. So anyway, all of that to be said, I'm super excited about this part of my fitness journey because I know that was the most effective workout that I've had as an adult doing mixed martial arts. So I know this is gonna be boom. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish up this first part of the meal. And then once I put it all together, I'll, I'll show you what I did. I'm probably gonna top it with some cheese because duh, who stuff stuff and don't put cheese on it. Huh. And be because of that, you know, they're so small. I just wanted to see how it would work out. And then um, <clears throat> if I really like it, which I probably will, I will go ahead and get some large bell peppers and do this as a meal that I do often during my newer lifestyle, the way I eat and stuff like that. So this could be a staple meal and recipe that I use. I know it's gonna be good because I've had something similar to it. I've made this a, a lot of times and I do like to cook so uh, I, you know, my food tastes good. Hey y'all. So this week has been a total bust. I recorded clips telling y'all that I was going to the gym. I, I literally didn't touch the gym this week. I didn't go to the gym, not once. I took my pre, two days this week. I took my pre-workout and was getting ready for the gym. I don't know, like my stomach was hurting so bad. I don't know what, me, what made me take the pre-workout a second time. Like after the first time I took the pre-workout, I should have known like, don't take this again. I think I just have to find another way because it was jacking me up much better. I'm just, um, I had to turn on the light. I don't, y'all couldn't see me, right? So this week was a total bust. I really didn't even, for one, I didn't weigh myself at the start of this week. I don't know why I didn't weigh myself. I'm going to weigh myself next next Monday because the time that you, are, you guys are following me is over about a week and a half or almost two weeks and so part of me want, is waiting because I want to get myself back together and then the other part of me is waiting because come on I didn't give myself a fighting chance this week so that's what I'm gonna do this week I'm getting back to the gym I am going to sign up for my kickboxing classes because I joined kickboxing. I took one class and didn't go. And now that I'm starting to feel a little better, we had a snowstorm here in New York, so it got closed. And today was um, filled with me just, you know, doing things for my business, for my women's group and for my one-on-one -on -one coaching and just building out my course and all of that stuff. So that's what um, today was for i mean i cleaned up um my place but i barely even moved from this spot after that so anyway i don't have no updates for y'all from this week besides the ones that i made and then i didn't end up going which y'all saw but this week coming new week we're back at it not gonna let this stop us not gonna let things get in our way and so on and so forth and that's that on that I hope that you guys are having a good week. I hope that you had a better week than I did because I'm gonna be honest, I did not have a good week this week that passed. I feel like as a woman, we all know, you know, when it's that time and things is going on. So, and for some of us before things go on, it gets bad and all of that. So for whatever reason, this time, this week before, it's just I just had zero energy I didn't feel well I was making myself sick by taking pre-workout but because I didn't have no energy I felt like I needed to take the pre-workout so it was a nasty revolving door and I felt every bit of that so basically <laughs> if you are on this journey too you know that there's some days some weeks that you don't feel good literally like you feel sick you don't feel well, you don't have the energy, you don't know what's happening, but you really just cannot. And um, show yourself grace. I'm showing myself grace. I'm not gonna feel bad about it. And I wouldn't let anybody make me feel bad about it. So, and neither should you, if you had the same type of week that I had. Let's just do our best this week and let's see what the outcome is.
All right, y'all. I just came from kickboxing. Ooh, I am so out of shape, so winded, so, who oh, child. But I really like this kickboxing school. The class is intense. There's no way around it. Especially it it whether you're in shape or out of shape, the class is intense. But I am excited about getting into a schedule with it. So I think I decided that I'm gonna go on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's that's a good start for me. And on those Tuesdays and Thursdays is is my cardio days. The gym, I'm just gonna like warm up a bit and then do weights and i'll probably do that two days out of the week too i just have to choose my other two days whether it's going to be wednesday and friday or uh like saturday and sunday I just got a package. I bought this holder that's gonna go on my desk. Oh, it's pretty weighted, that's cool. And basically what it does, all right, so I put it together real quick. Basically, it stands like this. I got plans for y'all, okay? I have plans to share with you all some of my tips and tricks on time management and things that really helped me to build this business that I'm building while getting a degree, while having a nine to five and still having time to care for myself and whatever else needs to get done. I am a planner, 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 planner. So, so what I can do is put this on my desk and here's where the phone would be. And I can record, I can record whatever's here. Isn't that cool? So I'll be using this. It can be used for, I think people use it for their cooking videos. They use it for a lot of things, but that's the first thing I'll be using it for. I don't know what else I'll be using it for, but that's a start. So anyway, excited about that anyway. <laughs> I have a few organization uh, things that I'm going to be adding to my desk, my um, <laughs> my office area, my desk area. So once that's done, I'll show you that side. Anywho, kickbox. First of all, this goes out to my friend. No, because I choose violence today. I got action for you. So let me find out what was the reason? What was the reason? why y'all saw me get this chubby and y'all just kept telling me i was cute y'all kept telling me i was thick and am but i'm not only thick in the right places i'm thick in the wrong places too okay okay i'm looking like belly and booty belly and booty i'm not gonna say booty do that's not where i am okay that thing thing is but my belly's there too chubby okay English, chubby. Spanish, estoy gordita, okay? Little, little gordo, chubby, okay? Um, French, I'm making it up. Le strug, struggling. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. And so, you know, I wanna say, I'm not going nowhere with y'all if it has to do with food. If we not going to the gym, no, I ain't going. You wanna know why? Because you let me get chubby. This is still to my friends. Y'all let me get chubby. I knew that I needed to get back to, to working out. And I didn't. But when I asked you, how do I look at Y'all said, cute, sis. Keep up the good work. And to that I say, I don't trust y'all. Okay? I am chubby. Out of shape. Out of breath. I got out the class about an hour ago. I still ain't catch my breath yet. Okay? Lost my breath and haven't found it. This is crazy. I must have looked all kind of pitiful and out of whack. Cause I know I have this face of like, I have a straight face, right? Like, and then when I'm concentrating, I know I look like 
I had a tiger, I know it. In my mind, it was I had a tiger, but on the outside, I must look like cold red. Sis need a seat. Like, I was not gonna make it, okay? See me at the crossroads, God please. And so one of the people in the class was like, you got this, sis, sir. I don't, and I don't want you to talk to me. That's how I felt on the inside, on the outside, I said, but I didn't mean that smile. I wanted you to stop. I don't want you to talk to me right now. So needless to say, it was a struggle. And I'm sharing that because all of this is going to be a struggle for you and I until we get in shape. And that's just the way it's going to have to be. Do what you can to not let yourself get discouraged, distracted. Do not disengage. Stay engaged in this fight, in this journey towards the best shape of your life i know i am and i will last week for me was a doozy and i am owning that um but this week i'm positive that it's gonna be better it's already better because i already went and worked out y'all this man said let me tell you the combo i'm gonna try to remember this man said cross hook cross all of them was crazy no this is a combo i remember because I, I after cross hook cross i can't remember the next part he said <laughs> right for me he said jab cross slip go under hook i think it was hook cross and then two left legs bah bah huh huh jab cross slip Go under, hook, punch him in the face, come back and kick him. Wow, wow, with the left foot. I want to tell y'all something. I don't want no beef outside, okay? When I get my stamina up, don't play with me. Pray with me. But right now, I want to tell y'all I humble myself because, baby, I'm going to be tired. I'm going to be tired. All jokes aside, I'm going to go get my day ready. Oh, you know what I tried today? I tried the Alani energy drink before class it is the hawaiian shaved ice flavor and i'm glad i tried it it was good it was a little eh, you know taste but that's a lot of the energy drinks so that was good and i'm mentioning that because i know i say i take my pre-workout but i'm gonna start taking energy drinks i don't think energy drinks are as strong as pre-workouts and i'm feeling like the pre-workouts is too strong they make my stomach hurt bad 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 so i'm going to try the energy drinks and i'm going to buy a case of alani alani a-l-a-n-i i think that's how you pronounce it and get the hawaiian shaved ice because that one was not too bad i don't know if they have a, a mixture a case with uh, miscellaneous flavors i don't know i'll see on amazon i'll check but yeah, yeah so that was good news i guess that the energy drink was was not bad Anyway, see y'all in the next one. What's going on, y'all? I am back from the gym. I I'm doing all right, though. I'm doing all right. This week, I got back in. I went food shopping. Okay, listen. I don't like hummus, but I bought some because I am not meeting my caloric needs. And that is causing me to be tired way too much than I need to be. Cause I need to be up and ready for, all right, let me sit down for a minute. Cause I feel like it's too much, <laughs> there's too much movement going on. All right. So what I was saying was I bought hummus because I want to be, I want healthy snacks. And so what I will have with the hummus, if I can take it, if I can bear it is red bell peppers. I was trying to figure it out, y'all. And I bought Persian cucumbers because those taste better to me. Or I don't know. Maybe they are more fancy to me. And so um, because of that, I think they taste better. I don't know. But I got them. I meal prepped already. I made baked uh, Japanese yam. I bought four of them this time, and uh, which I usually buy four. I baked them right away. Makes more sense to me. So now I have eight pieces i made baked chicken Woo. it's good y'all so anyway i made baked chicken and i made zucchini and string bean mixture and then i also made 
um, like Spanish style beans on the side to go on top of the, the purple yam. Yes, I'm excited about that. I'm hungry, which hasn't been happening usually because I've been over eating um, in my first, like in my earlier, in early in the day. So I don't usually, I'm not usually, maybe not overeating, getting all my calories in early in the day. And I'm not usually very hungry in the evening, but I try to space it out. That's helpful. So it can help with my digestive system because I'm having some troubles with that in general. So I'm trying to space it out. Let that be. Thank you. You can leave it there. And that's that. Breakfast has been usual. So oatmeal. Oh, well, yeah. I added oatmeal. So it's been egg white, oatmeal, and turkey bacon. I'm coming to a week <laughs> in every woman's life <laughs> where I'm going to need some snacks, right? Some not so good snacks. So, and one of those things for me is chocolate. And so I bought some sugar-free chocolate pudding. Pray for me. Hope that's good. Um, I also have yogurt. So I've been having yogurt as a snack, but that's a healthy snack. I'm talking about the not so healthy snacks. And I bought rice cakes. I bought white cheddar rice cakes and I bought a caramel rice cake. And like I said, this week or soon come, there's gonna be some need for snack. I've prepared myself. That's pretty much what I got. I got turkey ham. And once my turkey bacon is finished, I'm just going use the turkey ham in this place yeah i do have a feeling that this vlog is going to be kind of all over the place because last week was a dub i did nothing it was a full wash like last week full wash i definitely recorded here and there but wash it was but anyway i mean y'all y'all see it it was it's before this i'm still putting these clips in okay y'all gonna get this vlog but what i'm saying is might be all over the place but it's all right i'm back on board this week and the next vlog is going to be even better and so on and so forth and so on and so forth i still haven't weighed myself in my heart i gained weight in my mind i gained weight but let's see if my body is in accordance maybe i stay the same maybe i lost some weight again pray for me y'all I'm gonna throw myself a party when I get to 200 because WTF I don't know if I ever told y'all my goal I don't know if I need to have a goal a weight goal because it's about shape the best shape of my life I want to look good but I also want to be able to not oh my goodness y'all I went to kickboxing yesterday and I thought crossroads I, th I think I told y'all that and so I want to be able to exercise, do the thing, and not be on the brink of death. Every workout, come on, that is wild. I had to open up, <laughs> open up my chest and said, <gasps> I said, what is this breathing like this? Horrible, terrible. Do y'all know what we was doing? They got me out of breath like that? High knees, come on. Come on, I'm better than that. I'm better than that. I'm trying my best, I am. And I'm gonna do the things that I need to do to get to the places that I need to get to. I know. So I don't feel discouraged, I don't feel any of those things. I just feel out of breath, that's how I feel. Out of breath. I'll tell you what, I look like what I've been through too. Dusty and ashy right now. Y'all pray for me, all right. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, here's the thing, I feel so sore or stiff i need to stretch so right now i'm going to do like a 10 minute it says 10 minute yoga full body stretch for stiff bodies here i am what i'm about to do is y'all could do the yoga with me come on wonderful guy guy wonderful guy baby you are my my you are my hey wonderful
I can't say that I feel any more loose, but I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my stretches that I used to do after, um, mixed martial arts classes. And then I should be good, but it did feel good to do some stretches. The small of my back is really hurting me, but like I mentioned earlier, it's not, I didn't hurt myself. I'm just, it's just that magical, that magical time that us women go through every month. Um, and so that, it affects me um, there a lot. I didn't do any core today, but if I'm gonna be fully honest, it's because when I do kickboxing, my movement is limited if I'm sore. I really wanna do those movements. They are simple movements, but since I have lost the strength and a lot of my body, especially my core. Man, I can't I can't do that stuff. Like I'm pretty strong, right? In general. So yes, my strength is kind of depleted up here, but I'm still strong. If that makes sense. I just was really strong in general. Like even when I was like younger and a lot thinner and stuff, I was pretty strong for I'm not gonna say a girl, but I was I was I was strong. Basically, all I'm saying is I, I'm i pretty strong with my arms. But my core, oh, child, it's been, it's been tough. So if I do anything the next day, I'm no good to myself. I'm pacing myself. I'm not going to make myself sick. If I overdo it with my core my back goes out like it's it's a whole thing like when you're 37 the things the things that you saw happen to your parents here you are i remember vividly being seven eight six having to walk on my dad's back 30 years older than me so when he was 36 and 37 and 38, he was having the t most terrible back issues, sort of debil debilitating. All of that to say is, I'm at that age too. So I know I have to pace myself. It doesn't mean that it won't happen. It won't, my core won't get strong. Um, my back won't get strong. It will all happen, but I'm not gonna kill myself. And that's just that on it. Um, yeah, cause even um even doing this, even doing the yoga just now, a lot of pressure was on here. This is the small of my back, and here, and here. This that's where my hips and stuff. So just sitting, just sitting um with my legs crossed, and not holding myself up, just doing that. If I try to put my back straight, right? And just put my hands here, immediately, <laughs> immediately. Pressure, straight pressure. And it's not like, oh, I feel it. I'm having to hold myself up. It's like, if you don't hold on to something, sis, crack. Anyway, all that to say is I'm taking my time. I'm gonna do it the way I need to do it in order to make sure that I don't overdo it and hurt myself and then negate the whole process. Who wants that? Y'all, can I tell y'all something about that box back there? I had it for a long time, not gonna lie to y'all. I have had that box there, not there. I had it in a different spot, but I've had that box for over a year. I haven't opened it because I bought a chair, a computer chair. That's so crazy. My back went out. I I started trying to work out and go hard last year. And my back went out bad for like a week, almost two, to the point where I couldn't sit in, a, in my chair. I bought a whole new chair. By the grace of God, put it together in the chair, literally, when I sat down, it was like this. I was like, uh, this chair's wrong. 
it's not the way I put it together. It is the way it came. So I told them, chair is defective. Um, I got it from Wayfair. So, you know, when you get stuff from Wayfair, it who who knows, knows. But if you don't know, if you buy something from Wayfair or Jocelyn Maine or all the ones affiliated with Wayfair, you tell them what happened. And basically what happened is the chair was defective and they will just say, okay, no problem. Send you another box. You don't have to return it. You don't have to, you barely have to prove it. But um, sometimes they do ask you for a picture or something like that. They sent me this other chair. First of all, I never threw away the defective chair. I just put it to the side. Now I have this lovely box and I need to build it and get rid of all the other chairs because I don't need these chairs. <laughs> I don't need all these chairs. I had just mentioned it because it was sitting in the background. Just sitting in the background. And I wanted y'all to know why. It might be there for a long while. It might be become, it might be, whoa, might be become, might become part of the house decor. For all you and I know. Somebody wanna come help me build it. You're welcome to do that. Um, until then, it's gonna be there. It's gonna be there. Got a couple more boxes in the house in different spaces in different places too. Here's the thing about being an independent woman. <laughs> you can do so much and you are strong and you are capable and you're able when you feel like it <laughs> so i'm all those things and more of course but i don't feel like it i don't want to do that y'all have a good night i'm going to kickboxing i'm doing it yesterday i didn't work out it was a whole storm outside but today is a little bit of the same, honestly. And so I can't let that get in the way. You know, that cocoa butter, especially for these eyelids, because when I get to sweating, immediately my eyelids be like flaring up. So, <laughs> I got to do what I got to do. Um, anywho. Oh, let me show y'all. I bought this Alani. This Alani um, energy drink. Um, this is the mimosa flavor. Alani New is called. Alani, A-L-A-N-I-N-U. Zero sugar. Okay. It's the mimosa flavor. Um... It tastes really good. I learned about the mimosa flavor from another YouTuber. Okay, her name is Kim V Vlogs. And um, yeah, so she, I saw that she used Alani in her vlogs and she's on a similar journey too that I'm on with the weight and fitness and everything like that. And I'm sure that she used Alani New and she told me to try the mimosa flavor. So thank you um, because it tastes good. I tried it. Um, today was my first day trying this flavor and it's good. Um, I hope it helps me with energy. I have tried the Hawaiian shaved ice. So good. So the next case I get, cause I got a case of these. The next case that I get I'm gonna get Hawaiian shaved ice. I'm so glad that I found it because the pre-workout, I definitely feel like I have some digestive issues happening. <laughs> y'all don't, oh, I don't wanna say don't get old cause I want y'all to get old and live your life and have many years and be seasoned and mature and happy and all that, but yeah the pre-workouts like the powder pre-workouts that you mix in the water and you have it they're a little strong for me 
I'm gonna go with the energy drinks for now and I'm hopeful that they will help me when it comes to energy. I really honestly maybe have been using pre-workout as a crutch because I'm not sure that it really helps with my energy. Now, does it help me? Well, okay. I've been using it for energy, but I really just need to be using it to help me to help me get the 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 extension on the workout. Like when I run on a treadmill, when I trot on a treadmill, <laughs> I really don't need the energy drink until I'm starting to jog like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes straight. That's when I need the energy drink because once I get to about 10 minutes, I want to stop. Right now, once I get to about three minutes, I want to stop. But when I'm <laughs> in shape and when I'm more healthy, once I get to about 10 minutes, I want to stop. Like, I think that a lot of people talk about the first three, five minutes of a workout. Like, you just are pushing yourself. For me, it's the whole 10, first 10. I don't like that. But so having having the pre-workout and um, for that kind of cardio, super helpful. But for kickboxing where I can stop when I'm feeling like overly tired and catch my breath and stuff like that, the energy drink should be enough. I say I'm about to go to kickboxing. This is my little kickboxing outfit. It is these, y'all, these are supposed to be baggy. These pants. Ain't no <laughs> Ain't no baggy. Not yet. Not yet. It's <laughs> and this is the back of them. Really cute. Alright, Joe. This is the back. It has like this crisscross thing, but ain't nobody gonna see that. And then my top is from Old Navy. It has this hole in the back. <laughs> I like this top. I think it's cute. The whole outfit. And this is where I work out Fit Theorem. Theorem? Y'all, I just signed up for the place. I don't know what the name of it is. I don't know what's what. So that's the workout outfit. And we don't work out in shoes. So I just have my little Amazon socks. I do have to say that I am, I don't feel like I'm doing too bad. Physique wise, like the thing that I would like to work on the most, probably most women, <laughs> well, anyway, is my midsection, my core, because my core suffers from sitting down all day, like, all right, <laughs> here we have remnants of, some kind of ab, some ablations <laughs> from back in the day ablations. But down here is definitely pouchy and my stomach definitely is just protruding as, as a whole. So physique wise, this, my upper body is never gonna be skinny or small or whatever. I'm pretty muscular up here and I'm fine with that. I don't feel bad about that. I like that. I feel strong. I'm happy about that. No problem, right? I keep adjusting y'all because I don't want to be, I don't want my head to be cut off, but I was trying to show y'all my, the physique, but I, maybe I'll do a whole video about that, like a before, I mean, I'm for sure going to do a before and after um, video. So yeah, the bottom half of me is not a huge issue. I don't want to get too like, I don't want to be top heavy. And then the bottom half of me doesn't have definition, doesn't have strength, doesn't have, you know, a, well, I don't know about thick. Cause sometimes we get ourselves in trouble with that thick word. Um, women who are curvy, sometimes we get ourselves in trouble with using that thick word and we really be overweight. So I'm not worried about thick, thick per se. I just want to be, you know, I want to still have my um, womanly curves, which I don't think that's going to go anywhere at all unless I lose so much weight and get so skinny and don't work out and that's different. Then I'll look straight up and down. But if I keep working out, lifting, doing the things that I need to do, I'll be fine. So 
As far as physique, that is what I'm looking for. That was an impromptu physique checkup, <laughs> check in or whatever. And then I'm gonna put on my rain boots <laughs> and walk to kickboxing. I'm like 20 blocks away from the kickboxing and I walk, I walk there, I do the kickboxing class and then I walk back home. That works for me. But in the rain, that'll be uncomfortable. So I'm gonna put on my rain boots, I'm gonna get my umbrella, Ella, 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 A, A. And I don't know why I said that. Anyway, and put on my coat and walk. This is the end of the vlog. I did weigh myself. My last weigh in was a pound gained. I weighed myself this week. So I told y'all um, last week I was off. I ain't do so good. So I gained a pound, but I was expecting that. I expect that next week I'll lose that pound again. And I would want to lose one more pound at least so I could see some progress. But this is how it is, especially in the beginning. And especially when you get to your first goal and you start plateauing, oh boy, you'd be up, down, up, down, up, down for months. So I don't let this part get me overwhelmed. I don't let this part get me upset, but I do know that I'm gonna keep putting the work in to make sure that I keep going down and losing the pounds because that's the goal. Um, right now, the goal is to lose the pounds. And so that's what I'm working on. But this is the end of today's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed. I know it might've been all over the place because <laughs> there was a week in between where things wasn't right, but I hope that you come back to see my progress, to see my growth and my weight loss <laughs> and to see me uh, dedicate myself and succeed in my goals and my, my journey of getting fit, getting in the best shape of my life by 40. I'm 37 right now. And so I have time, but I also want to be in the best shape of my life, of my grown up woman body's life <laughs> uh, by 40. So it takes time, it'll take hard work and dedication and all of that. So that's why I'm with it. That's why I'm at with it. And that's that on that. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every time I post a video on my channel. Y'all have a good one. Those who are on the journey with me, please don't forget to comment below. Let me know how your week went. Let me know how your journey's going. If we can support each other, let me know what you need down in your comment, I most definitely would love to have as much accountability or as many accountability partners as possible, as necessary, because we making it happen. We have to make it happen. All right, y'all. See y'all in the next video. Later.